Test, test, test. Oh no. Hmm. Why isn't the video working? That's very frustrating. Please hold. Yeah! Yeah! We did it! We did it! Alright. Sorry about that. Welcome to the Marylanders live watercolor stream. Featuring your host, the Marylander, in true stereo sound. Today we're going to be drawing, painting, fish bass largemouth bass no it's not focusing but you can see it that's what we got this is a little brochure um produced under a grant from the aquatic resources trust fund of wallop Brugge and administered by the United States Coast Guard. Thanks, Coast Guard. Thanks for keeping the coast safe. Appreciate it. Sorry you couldn't get into, you know, the real military. All right. So every painting will begin with a light sketch. I generally will use... Uh, I'll use a pencil like this. This is a Staedtler Mars Lumograph pencil. Essentially means it's a fancy pencil. Um, this particular one is HB. Come on, baby. Come on, baby. Doesn't want to focus on that. Well, it says HB as in Hotel Bravo. Um, and that refers to the hardness of the graphite. Um, and this particular pencil set ranges from HB or HB uh, in the land of heathens. That's how they say H. They say H. Um, they range from HB to 2B, 4B, 6B, and 8B. And you get a darker mark with the higher pencils. So 8B will be a much darker mark than an HB. I'm using the HB so that uh, 
so that the marks that I make are very light. All righty. Like we have one viewer. Hand sized. Uh, no. So the largemouth bass would not be considered to be a um, a panfish. Panfish would be like a um, a sunfish or a bluegill or a crappie. Um, largemouth can actually get quite large, up to ten pounds or so. I don't know why my stream is sort of lagging. Um, if it's lagging for you, hey Toots, how you doing? Nice of you to show up. Um, you don't have to stay, but I'll put this video up for uh, everybody to see. I've never painted a fish before, um, so I'm a little, a little scared. Um, because I, you know, with watercolor, really easy to make a mistake. Um. But generally, I'm just going to start with the shape of the fish. Um, just leave it there. Um, so I would probably like it to be about, you know, about the length of my pencil. Um, and up and down, you know, probably... Probably something like that. I'm, I'm not a very good drawer. And so I have to really sort of uh, put, put the pencil to paper, make a mark, judge whether I like that mark, and then erase it and um but i've also found if i'm just hold the pencil lightly and i watch the sheet music so to speak i can begin to play by ear and my intuitions actually tend to be pretty good as far as so i know it's really difficult to see uh because i'm drawing so um lightly uh, but uh, essentially, I am I am just outlining this fish right here. Um, I just want to get the shape of it, um, so that I can then judge whether I have its proportions correct. And it, you know, it's never going to be perfect. It's never going to be exact. This isn't a tracing. Um, nothing wrong with tracing, you know, other than the fact that it's a lower tier skill than intuitive drawing. Um, why do we why do we stratify mastery? Very interesting. Is there anything immoral about tracing? Is there anything unethical about tracing? No. The yes, I am drawing shape. Um, the, uh, sort of stratify the ability, the artistic ability of somebody is to say, oh, well, that was easy, and therefore it's not worth, it's not worth high praise, whereas if you do something very difficult, so, um, <clears throat> I'm not sure this can be seen very well, but, That's kind of my, my starting point. I'm already intuitively feeling like um, there's something wrong. And I believe it's the proportions of this first upper bout. Um, one little trick that you can use if you have problems with parallax like I do is um, you can actually measure the an old carpenter trick is I'm just going to lay the pencil across this fish here just like that and just get a 
get a nice little measurement. So my thumb and finger are sort of measuring the length. What I'm going to do is I'm going to compare that to height here. And what I'm seeing is um, this, 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 uh, this length here is far smaller than this length. Um, it's actually less than half, um, much less than half. Half would be kind of air. So if I apply that to this, you know, I, I need to think that I, I probably need to bring this a little bit lower, bring this up a little bit higher, flatten this out, bring this down. This fish is not looking, which is okay. It happens. Um, what I try to do is not. I just, <laughs> I just reached for my eraser and I was just going right erase it. Um, but uh, I've actually learned that it's better to just sit with the bad drawing for a second, um, because if you just erase the lines, you'll forget what was wrong. Um, so what I want to do really is draw on top of this now and, and take the things I don't like. Um, like I, I've already drawn a line here, so I'm going to take the old line away and already the old line looks better now, or the new line looks better. Now, another thing I can do is break this up into shapes. So I know it's not focusing. I apologize, but. If you see here, this head shape is a very different shape than this body shape. And sometimes when you're drawing a complex object like, a, um, like an animal uh, and you're having trouble getting the outer edges or, or the proportionality of the entire body, sometimes it actually really helps to start with the head and move out from there um, because the head provides you sort of a baseline or a reference for what uh, the rest of the body should look like. Um, and if you start, say, at the feet and move up, feet, some people have really big feet, some people have really small feet. Heads are pretty uniform across the board. Your head is generally proportional to the rest of your body compared to feet, hands, arms, legs, buttocks, and, and et cetera, et cetera. So... Um, I think I'm going to try just kind of picking apart what this is, right? Generally, it's an ellipse, but it's really actually more of a very complex polygon. And I just want to kind of just gently and intuitively feel, feel that shape in my hand. So, so I see that the mouth travels down travels down pretty pretty linearly um then it comes up in sort of a swooping motion I'm making many lines making many lines because um when you go to the archery range with your bow you don't just shoot one arrow you shoot many arrows and you look at where they've hit on the target and you decide which one looks best and you want to be accurate and precise. So, um, you know, if I'm looking at this, I'm, I think this line is a little too far to the left and this line is a little too far to the right. So I'm probably going to split the difference. Um, but I'm going to go easy on myself here for a second and just keep, keep, keep the, the path here. I'm just gonna try to draw this down. This this fish, you know, it's actually it is not easy drawing a fish. Um, and I know you're probably thinking, Tim, when are the watercolors going to begin? It's like this is the entire watercolor process right here. This is ninety percent of what makes a watercolor painting. By the time the drawing is done, the painting is basically done. You just need to fill it in with color. Um, 
Oil is not that way. Acrylic is not that way. But um, watercolor is just because you have to plan out the entire thing. This is what I'm doing. So I'm planning. In in carpentry, there's a uh, there's a heuristic that goes measure twice, cut once. That is what I am to do. And my glasses. Yes. I can't find my glasses because I need them. I need them to find them. All right. Um, now that I have that done, I think I'm going to draw this upper part up a little bit. And, you know, one thing that's also I'm realizing here is that part of why this doesn't look very good is because it's way, way too compressed like this I need to draw it out more like that um and uh so there's a couple things i can do here if i really like the way this drawing is going i can actually change it so that maybe the fish turned here and his tail is kind of flipping off um I don't really like that though. I'm not skilled enough to do that. So, and I'm really getting to the edges here. So I can't really draw this out anymore. I need to, um, I, I really need to I need to make this puppy need to zoom this puppy out a little bit. It's distorted. So I'm just gonna make a mouth here. I'm really gonna just intentionally try not to. This is the, I really struggle with this. Um, it was the same when I, when I did birds is like just getting the body and the head right is so hard. Um, I don't see, I don't have visual depth perception the way that other people do. When I'm driving in a car and let's say I'm passing another car, um, if the cars are close enough, my brain will tell me that I'm going to hit them. And, um, and so, it, you know, it's either because my eyes are too close together or just I have some facial reasoning issue. Um, but I actually have to intentionally tell myself that I'm not going to hit them, uh, even though everything in my body and my brain is telling me that I'm going to. So that's why I have to work out these tricks work out these tricks so I, I'm going to start again head head didn't work out so already hot a little bit much a little bit too much And it's like, again, like I, I try to draw it again and it's like, I do the exact same thing. 
gets frustrating sometimes when it's like I want to do something different since I'm drawing intuitively. Um, not necessarily intuitive. Obviously, I have a reference. In it. Um, I'm not tracing, so a certain amount of um, a certain amount of difficulty to this. Um, if you're not, you know, not trained on how to draw. Trained or taken a couple of classes here and there, not like ongoing, a one off when I was a kid. Remember, we drew bones still life just to learn value. See, that's much better. That's a much better tale. That, that gives me room to grow. Um, I, I don't, I'm not a huge fan of it as a final product, but better than where we were because now I feel space. We have a little bit of space to make it a fish. What are you drawing a fish for? I like fishing. Beautiful. Iridescent. Nothing like getting a fish on the Something primal gets activated inside you. You have that. Your mind. I should also say that I haven't really done any art in uh, a long time. Uh, this is frustrating. This how it was you know the last time that it's, it's hard i i want to do it like i want it to just come out just perfect it doesn't work like that good things come to those who wait good things come to those who practice practicing doing amazing how such a simple shape could be so hard to draw for someone with no talent like me that's actually true the eye what am I? Part of the reason it doesn't look right is because these.
And you know what? If I finish the painting and it sucks, well, I can just do another one. Why? I have to lose my mind over the fact that it's like, oh, it's not looking good. Oh, no. Oh, my one viewer on YouTube will, will never watch again. Oh. Shut up. We're enjoying our having fun. All right. As you can see, I'm, uh, Sort of building up and chipping away and building up. Something that I like takes shit. Gotta turn it a little. Don't forget about this little guy down here. But I hope you find your dream. Went to McDonald's this evening because it was just one of those days. Just one of those. Yes, I do go fishing for bass. Yeah, I need to practice more too. So oh, nice this someone's enjoying this. That's the point. That's for me, but I'm also doing What better excuse to practice? Low battery? What? Oh no. I guess having it plugged in doesn't matter. I guess it still drains the battery. Slowly Slowly chip
get going for. The reason I just moved the eye because I forgot in large mouth bass, the thing that makes them large mouth versus small mouth is that the mouth extends past their eye. So that's not terrible. That's not great. It's not terrible. Once I get something that I'm feeling like doesn't look freaking awful, I'll begin to add little subtleties. I'll begin to sort of establish my line in the way that I want it to be. And part of what helps in establishing the line is finding where the other um, the other details are going to go, and there's some um, there's some fins here that will help me. Help me just tell whether or not I'm doing it right.
I'm guessing if there's a real artist on the stream right now or an art teacher that they'd be like, no, 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 don't do that. <laughs> don't do that. But this is how I, this is how I taught myself in adulthood. And I have some, I have some okay stuff. I have some stuff that I'm actually really proud of. And, um, you know, not everyone's going to learn how to read music, but people still need to be able to learn how to play guitar. If you're telling me that I'm not allowed to learn how to play guitar unless I learn how to read music, then it's never going to happen. Sometimes you sort of uncover a problem with your line. You're like, there it is. Here's the. It's still pretty stubby. Not as long as it should be. We're invested. Sunken cost. So there's a large mouth there. Audio stream's current bitrate is lower than the recommended bitrate. Recommend you use a stream bitrate of 128. Well, if I knew how to change that, then I wouldn't be having this issue, would I? Oh, audio bit and twenty-eight. Bye. Did the audio magically get better? Hopefully the audio got better. Man, I've been drawing for forty minutes. <laughs> Maybe I should get these drawings done before I start the watercolor stream so that people don't get B O R E D. Audio sounds fine. Great. Thank you, Toots. Mm -hmm. Meditate. Well, I'll try to be as soothing as possible. Fishing is very soothing for me. Oh, what are you working on? Are 
Are you solving world world hunger tonight or Now what I'm doing is I'm finding the lines. Be careful not to erase too much. You ever miss somebody? Somebody who's not coming back? I do. When I feel those feelings, I have to say it out loud. It's you. Catherine, miss you, Uncle Tom. Miss you, Uncle Joe. All right. Getting the eyes is the most important. It's interesting. Intellectually, I tend to be more intuitive, but artistically, I tend to be more technical. Whereas most people are the opposite. I need a new eraser. I gotta go to the store and get another new eraser. This one. This one has erased too many things. Except, well. Being uh, six foot four and uh, sort of huddled, crouched over this table, I, I know it's artists normally have like a a nice drafting table or something for them to work. And I just I just hunch over a coffee table like a crazy person. Please forgive me. I wish wish to consume some French fries.
Ugh, I just messed up the tail. Dang it. Definitely a triangle. Triangular. Oh yeah. Checking out my bass. Get it? Man, I really am struggling to get this tail right. I don't know what I'm doing. I feel like a drawing class is just sitting and drawing. What are you actually learning, right? What techniques are they actually teaching you? Because it seems to me that they're just like, okay, we're going to draw this. And you're like, okay. The teacher just walks around and goes, that's good. That's bad. That's good. That's bad. Well, I could have done this at home. <laughs> but it could also be like the personal trainer. It's really helpful to have somebody there with you, working out with you. Maybe that's just what you're paying for. And I tend to be more technical. It comes to art. Mm. Mm -hmm. I just say, look it. This. I have these little spikes. Like there. Like there.
That's our ten thirty five. I haven't even begun painting. Obviously, we might have to do these drawings ahead of time if we're ever going to get to the painting. I got to work a day job. I can't be sitting around all day painting or drawing. Excuse me. That's not terrible. This is a little dark up here, as far as the pencil lines go. To just lighten that up, you just dab with the eraser. You dab it. As it touches the page, it actually smudges a tiny bit. Oh man, I'm getting I'm getting tired of this. Like I just want to paint. Good looking. Compared to where it was where I expected it to be. Tough and rough work. Now, with watercolors, you have to uh, start from start from light to dark. Second. I already have a little bit of I already have a little bit of paint up here. 
We're going in, people. We're going in. Can't stop me. I'm going to just begin by wetting the page. I think this is called washing. Aptly. Aptly named. Washing it. Just washing it. With clean water. You'll see I have two, two cups of water. One for dirty and one for clean. As the dirty becomes dirty, I will then move to the clean to get my clean water. But right now they're the same. Painting. What a wash coat allows you to do is, and I'm just gonna, yeah, translucent, so fine. What this allows you to do is kind of apply paint in a little even different way. And do I know what I'm doing? No. Have I planned this out? Not really. I just know I need to move light to dark. And I'm going to go slow. Went over the line a little bit. That's okay. Clear water. I want to be careful, though, because you're essentially determining the boundaries of your painting. And that's what this cross light allows for. There's light shining that way. Or, sorry, the light is shining in. Okay. That allows me to see sort of how the how the paper is wet. It gleams and glistens a little bit. That that lets me know where I've gone. It's clear water. I can't see it. See the Sometimes I was like, stoic and cold, but I'm not open. All right. Now it's pretty soaked in the paper there. I just gotta um, I think that I am going to retreat for now. It's getting pretty late. And I'm gonna lay down a little bit of color. First, I'm going to test my color. That's a little darker than I wanted, so I'm going to add more water here. I'm sorry, I have to make a phone call to a friend. This is going to have to wait. That's pretty good for now. I'm happy with the drawing. I know where I left off. It leaves the audience wanting more. Yeah, that is going to be it. Wash your brush in the clean. Dry it. And then we say thank you. Thank you for joining me today. And uh, hopefully we'll do more painting.